I really should not have, though. I should have been on point with that. So what do we have here? Something charred on the lab table. Operator lights are shattered. This looks so familiar. It's like... It's like a dream that I had once. What do we have over here? An x-ray of a skull. Alright, now I'm all turned around in this room. Oh, we could open the door to the breeding room. In case we want to use use this as a uh, shortcut later on. That was not the breeding room. That's the laboratory. Fair enough. Let's... I want to open the breeding room before I go to the laboratory, I think. Up here? Where's the door at? Nope, that's a dead end. So it's over where we came in. Okay. I get turned around because we have two almost identical views of this room. But one they're flipped. One is like north to south and the other is south to north. So over here is... The breeding room. Okay, unlock the door. So maybe that's another argument against not using 80 different pre-rendered views for every single room in the game. Because it does get... It does get a little... It actually gets a lot confusing, I'm, I'm gonna say. Well, I can't get your head, man. Oh, this room is awful. Okay. I... With a shotgun, that'll be sure to get the head. This guy's head I'm targeting, though. Take off her head! Her head don't come off! I'm sorry, I had to slip into Labyrinth for a second there. Maybe they're just immune to sword, I don't know. I feel like I was targeting their head and still doing zero damage with the gunblade. Only with the shotgun shells did I manage to make any headway. Alright, so there's a card reader on this door here. So I guess I could have also come around this way to the, uh, to the operating room. I guess I had a choice. I didn't have to go all the way back around to the first door. We just took the long way around. It's okay. It's no problem. Take the long way around. You know, once in a while, take the scenic route, you know? So now we have the laboratory here. Uh, this bulletin board looks pretty. Breaking the Fate Keeper computer virus. Step one, install cloud antivirus. Step two, block all outside mail. Step three, for more info, see Eris, volume nine on the desk. Final fantasy reference. Oh, a clean bench. Okay, so they can stick their arms through here and like dissect things. Also a box. Do I have anything I want to store? No, I think we're good. I think I want to keep all that. Okay, so what else is in the lab here? Oh, there's a phone, in case I wanted to save. I don't. I'm fine. Computer terminal. Please enter password. Uh, Melissa Maya? That seems ominous, considering the events of the first Parasite Eve. Well, I mean, there's... This guy's gonna just set his password as his Windows desktop. I don't see any reason to uh, stay out of his computer. Melissa. Maya. If you don't know who Melissa or Maya are, that means you did not watch my Parasite Eve 1 Let's Play and What's the Matter With You. Log in. I want my login noise to be a car ignition sound and then my air noise to be a crazy car wreck. Alright, well, so that wasn't the password. Not a problem. Uh, okay, what did this bulletin board say? Where's this desk at? See the Aeris volume 9 on the desk? Oh, Yoshida has the magazine. God damn it, Yoshida. So we gotta go back up to B1 now, I think. Uh, we do, but first, let's, uh, then we open this door out to the main hall out here now. Ooh, what's up here? Stairs I didn't have to push a button to go up, I guess. We've got... Incubator power. Incubators! Incubator 1. Nutrient solution. Oh, cool! They're growing babies. They're growing four-eyed mutant babies. That's wonderful. Alright, where's the door in this room? 
straight across from me. So, we got to go to the sleeping quarters, because that's where Yoshida's personal effects would be kept. So, probably he had the magazine when this place got overrun by horrible monsters, which means it should still be there, unless one of the monsters ate it. That's the wrong way. We need to go the way with the exit sign. But now it looks like we've actually got most of the uh, main corridor areas opened up to us. There's only, like, the, there's a locked door on this floor that goes to um, the septic tank. And there's a locked door on the floor above that we don't know what it goes to yet. And I don't think there was a card reader by that door. I guess I could check when we get up there. If there was a card reader there, we can get through. But if not... Uh, let's go around through the sleeping quarters first, since that's where we need to go anyway. Well, no, it's actually shorter to go into the main hall from here. I'm the kind of player that if I have an in-game map, i got to push a button to check. If it's not on screen with me at all times, I've got to check it like every 18 seconds. I don't have a choice. It's a learning disability, and I would... Uh, I'll thank you not to point and laugh. Underground parking. Okay, so there we can't get in there, but sleeping quarters should just be right around here. So let's find Yoshida's bunk. Ah, the magazine. Cool, the first bunk that I tried. Yes, computer magazine. So let's check it out. Next gen viruses. The next generation computer virus, Fate Keeper, is actually a worm that opens a hole in password protection and automatically changes the passwords it finds. Aha. Uh, duplicate stuff over email and messages, blah, blah, blah. Announce its arrival by displaying an animated caterpillar graphic on the screen. Oh, how nice. Rearranges the letters passwords. Ah, so letters appearing more than once are displayed with letters and the number and the times it appears. For example, CBABC would change to AB to C2 because there's two B's and two C's. Move the A to the beginning, then B2 and C2. Got it. And then it displays the original password on the screen to taunt the user. Why would anybody make this this virus? I think even as a kid... God, I wasn't a kid when this game came out. I was already... I think I was 18. I think I was just barely an adult when this game came out. But yeah, even back then, even back in, what was this, two, 1999 or 2000, I knew that that whole computer virus thing was just malarkey. That's just ridiculous. Uh, is this the way I want to go? No, that's the wrong way entirely. In fact, that goes to a room that has monsters in it, and I'm afraid of monsters. But this does tell us what we have to do with this whole Melissa Maya thing, so... Let's see... It would be A, there's an E, there's a, there's a couple A's because there's two A's in Maya. I'm going to have to uh, actually type this out and decipher the password. Let's get into the lab first and I will work on, work on it. Because M-E-L-I-S-S-A-M-A-Y-A, -S -S -A -A. so there's two M's two S's and three A's. Okay, so if I just put all the letters in alphabetical order and keep in mind that there's two M's, two S's, and three A's, we should have it good to go. Alright, let's hack and see what we can, what kind of trouble we can get into. Please enter password. Okay, so a is the first letter. Yeah, I know it's a keypad, thanks. Uh, and there's three A's, one in Melissa and two in Maya. Uh, then there's an E in Melissa. F G H I. I, there's an I. Uh, J K. One L? Yeah, one L in Melissa. I had to think, are there two L's? No. And then there's two M's, so M2. And then the two S's in Melissa, so S2. T-U-V-W-X-Y. There's a Y in Maya. 
And that should be it. Let's start her up. Oh, Level E user access granted. I'm very happy now. Okay, so now we can get in and poke around in the computer system. Welcome, Dr. Bowman. Uh, tell me about the laboratory. Unavailable. Okay, uh, tell me about the main files. Unavailable. Okay. How about the bulletin board? Unavailable. Okay, visitor program. Please answering the following for verification purposes. What do mitochondria produce by combining glucose, lipids, and oxygen? Um, ATP. Which organisms possess mitochondria? Uh, crustaceans? What's the name of the desert above this? Well, we're clearly in the Gobi Desert. It's actually the Sahara Desert. It's a trick question. My goodness. Alright. I don't have control over this scene. I guess I is going to type on her own. What is an ANMC? Second Neoteny plan. Ugh. Okay. I is asking all the burning questions that are on our minds. Revitalize the human race? This sounds awesome. I wouldn't mind being revitalized. Uh-oh, it's all tying back to New York. So they got a hold of something that was more powerful than anything we saw in New York. Then they're going to redesign that thing's genetic profile and then start breeding ANMCs. Which, that sounds like it already happened and they started eating dry field. Release humanity's true potential and preserve its vitality into the coming century through planned evolution. Hmm? January 1998. That would be the month after Parasite Eve 1. Test subject insurrection? Jesus. Further access denied. I'm betting New York City. Go out on a limb here. Uh-oh, it's me. They've got... They've got my blood, essentially. They got my... They got a hold of my DNA. That's an invasion of privacy, damn it. So they're trying to clone Aya, and instead they just end up with horrible monsters. Uh-oh. All right, Aya, break out of your funk here. We've got a incoming message. Oh, it's Pierce. What's up, Pierce? How you doing? Are you still on top of that water tower? He's in the shelter. Why are you, Pierce, why? I knew I should have locked up that well door after I, uh, after I came back through it. I mean, he couldn't have driven here because I have his keys to his SUV, so. So he's going to hack the place, and that seems really useful to me. Alright, where is Pierce chilling? He's up on B1. Okay, so he got through the locked door on the other side of the sterilization room. So I can head north of here, go through the septic tank, and use the elevator there to get to Pierce. God damn it, Pierce. Alright. Let's boogie.
We got more monsters coming. Is this the right way? I'm going south, aren't I? No, I'm going north. I keep getting the doors mixed up here. I'm awful. We are probably going to have poop demons happening here, though. There probably will be a poop demon insurrection in the septic tank, as usual. Oh, a poop demon and a big guy. Haha! -ha! Yeah, we floated to the top. Like a bobbing turd that he is. Alright, Pierce, this, this better be good, man. You better have a really good explanation for all this. Uh, you know what? I can keep knocking you down. And not actually use up ammo. I don't know why I'm wasting bullets on you. As for these maggots... I knocked him right out of the air. Not that one, though. I did. He leapt at me and I just batted him out of the air. Awesome. I mean, if, if the inventory gets too crowded and I really don't have use for these firefly things, we won't worry about it. Oh, I gotta go up the elevator first. Go up. And then he busted this door back here. Well, here's you guys. Oh, I missed! Oh, he slapped me. I can't get past him. Okay, we're good, we're good. As long as we can knock him onto the ground. I think we're in good shape. Alright, so Pierce busted this door. Let's go see what the haps is. What horrible thing has Pierce gotten up to? I forget if you don't rescue Pierce, who shows up here? Like, what? Ew. What is this? It's gigantic. Gross. Probably Rupert. I would have to guess Rupert, right? But I'm not really sure. Pierce, my man. So he's got security camera footage all over the compound. And here you are, wearing your sunglasses inside. Well, I guess it is kind of brightly lit in here. It's not like it's the middle of the night on top of the water tower. That was just crazy. I ain't grumbling about running off alone. He keeps telling me there's no backup. I've called for backup like 50 times since I got to Dryfield. And he keeps telling me there's nobody to send. How can you complain about me going off alone if you don't ever give me any backup? Erg. Okay. Press the right sensor to switch screens. Let's operate first. Because we're looking at the... Uh, What's that say? Control room? This must be the control room. Operate. They're touch sensors. Yes, yeah, so touch them. So we opened that door. Nice. What's next? Not item. Oh, we were just in here. So he was watching me. He was being a little voyeuristic. I don't have an operate button on this one, though. So here's, oh, this is the, uh, the lift that wouldn't operate. So let's turn this on. There we go. And what's next? Huh. A forest? Shout out to Jordy Bear who sponsored this video and to everyone who makes this channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.